So here we have a wire that has a current going upwards like this. The current is I1. And then here there's a rectangular loop, a distance C away from the wire. And the length of, the, of this is L and the width is A. And there's a current I2 going around this rectangular loop like that. So this, the, wire, the straight wire produces this magnetic field going into the page everywhere here on the right of the straight wire. So the force on the loop, what does that look like? Well, here the force is up in this segment. Let's call it F1. The force is because the current is going there. Then each segment has a force pointing in this direction, F2, F3, and F4. So all the four segments of the square loop have those forces, but F1 and F3 cancel each other. So the only net forces on the rectangular loop are going to be F4 and F2. F4 is given by, by the special expression for the force on a wire with current. The current is I2, the length is L, and the magnetic field at that point where, where that part of the square is is that. So this is F4. Now to find the force F2, we, we do the same expression. The current on this wire is I2, the length is L, and the magnetic field where, where that part of the square is, is given by this. Okay, so now we have F2 and F4. So the total force in the square, or in the rectangle, is just the, the sum of those two forces, which they are in different directions. So the total force points to the left, and it's F4 minus F2. So we just subtract these two terms, and we get that. Okay, so this can be also written in this way. And that's the total force on the rectangular loop.